NFL Week 8 Gambling Picks. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. The Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Fitz, Hollywood, and First Jackpot. You can find more information on those over at tunicatravel.com. You can find our picks, our podcasts, our previews, everything you need to over at winningcureseverything.com. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. If you're on the podcast, hit that subscribe button as well. Let's run this thing. Uh, you know what? Let me tell this first. Enter our contest, our picks contest. Yeah. Over at winningcureseverything.com. There's a big thing up in the top right corner over that site. It says uh, football picks contest. Last week, Jerry B. from Lubbock, Texas went 9-1. and one. He's getting two free nights at Hollywood Casino. He's getting two free buffets over Fitz Casino. That's what I'm talking about. He did much better than I did last week. I went 1-4 and four last week. You went 3-1-1. One one. I'll take it. I'm 15-19-1 in NFL this year. You are 18-14-3. We are the exact opposite. I'm doing good in college. I'm doing putrid in college. You are doing great in the NFL. I'm doing putrid in the NFL. Yeah. I got to get things righted this week. I'm feeling good. I'm going to give you game number one, right? Game number one. The Houston Texans are a bad football team. It's Thursday night game, right? This is Thursday night football. They're not good. Their quarterback cannot get on a plane. They didn't have to. This is at home. The Miami Dolphins have been been pretty good this week, this yeah, pretty, year. Pretty good. <clears throat> I, I know that Brock Osweiler is not a good quarterback, but I think Brock Osweiler's got some some revenge, some comeuppance coming to Houston for how they played him there. Now, they paid him a lot of money, but they were dumb enough to do it. They embarrassed him. The Dolphins are playing well, even with him. I don't think the Houston Texans should be a 7.5-point favorite to anybody in the league. I, I think I like that pick. Uh, I've got the Eagles minus three and a half against the Jaguars. This is the 8.30 a.m. game, NFL Network, over at Wembley Stadium in London. Uh, the Eagles, bad loss last week. Gave up 21 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Good gracious sakes, alive in the morning. I think they get the ship righted. When you see a dumpster fire, you bet against it. The Jaguars are absolutely a dumpster fire. They can't figure out what to do. It, if it's Blake Bortles or Cody Kessler, either one, I like this Eagles defense against them. This is their get-right game. Three and a half is not near enough points. You see a lot of blowout games in London, and last week was not a blowout game. I like my chances this week. I think yeah. the Eagles are going to steamroll these guys. I like that pick. Pick number two, the best game of the weekend. New Orleans Saints plus one at the Vikings. That's what I got. I think it's going to be close. I think they're going to go back and forth. I do like this Vikings team, but, man, I think the Saints are rolling. I think they've, they've got everything to win and nothing to lose. I think they've got something to prove in this game because of what happened last year in the playoffs. I think they're going to be more fired up and pissed off about it than the Vikings are. This Vikings defense has not been great. And, nope. and the Saints are going to score and score and score again. I uh, I agree here. I, I've got the exact same game. Saints okay. plus one at the Vikings. Uh, I mean, obviously, one point. I like them to win the yeah, game. Yeah, I like them to win the game. Uh, this, the Saints are 9-0 and against the spread in October the last three years. October is the time where good coaches get it rolling, get things turned around. I like the Saints again here. Uh, their pass defense, I mean, obviously, they just traded for Eli Apple. I don't know that he plays this weekend, but I don't think it matters. Uh, their offense is clicking. Well, they're going to give up points. Yeah, they're going to give up points. But I, I think that they, I think Drew Brees is seeing the field differently than any other quarterback in the league right now. I think every pass is wide open to him right now. Oh yeah. No, we, we talked earlier in the earlier segment. Gurley or Mahomes for MVP. Drew Brees is right there with him. I, I mean, he's he's yeah. absolutely right there with him. So, I like it. All right. So Saints plus one. Uh, what's your game number three? Game number three. I'm just going to bet against the Raiders every week from here on out until they cover a game. <laughs> Give me the Colts minus three. That's it. They're at Oakland. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Raiders are 76 er in it. They're just full-on tank mode. Chucky, he's just playing for next year. That, so you you got the line at three. Got it at three. Uh, What'd lines, you get it at? This, I got it at one and a half yesterday morning. I'd take it at one and a half. So, absolutely. I knew it was going to move, and I knew it was going to move a lot. The lines this week brought to you by Horseshoe Casino down in Tunica. 
Uh, go down, get you a sheet. Da, 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 da. This week, uh, the Colts, yeah, see, the Colts are minus one and a half as of Tuesday morning. Uh, and that's down at the Horseshoe. Obviously, the lines will change. Go up to your attendant. Make sure you got the latest lines whenever you're putting your bet down. Uh, but, yeah, I'm Colts. Going, I'm going to Horseshoe when we leave here. <laughs> oh, man, one and a half. Yeah, one and a half for the Colts. Look, I'll take the Colts at three. I'll take them at four or five. Uh, I think they're going to kick their ass. Yeah, I think they're I mean, going to. The, the Raiders are absolutely giving up on this year. They traded Amari Cooper. Uh, obviously, Cooper wasn't doing great there, so I don't know how much of a difference this makes. But I think it says something to the players there that, hey, we don't really care about this season, so maybe you shouldn't either. Um, I like the Colts here. I think they're fighting for something. I think they, they believe they could still win this division. Yeah. What uh, what you got for game number – Oh no 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 yeah that was that was mine that uh, was yours yeah so you got the Colts so I got the Colts minus Sorry. one and a half thought you were just saying you liked no my no no I, that was That's one of my games bet I got the Bears minus seven against the Jets they're at home against the Jets Sam Darnold was turning the ball over and over and over and over again <laughs> and this Bears defense is good I mean they got a couple of picks off of Tom and and I think Mac is going to be healthier this week than he was against the Patriots. Uh, he still played, but he didn't play a lot of snaps. Man, if he if he's full strength and and that secondary can get kind of get after Darnold, I think this can get ugly in a hurry. Give me the Bears at home. I like it. I like it. Uh, game number four for me. Got the Broncos at the Chiefs. I know it's a big line. Chiefs minus ten. The Chiefs are seven and zero against the spread so far this year. Uh, it's twelve p.m. CBS. It's in Arrowhead. Look. This Chiefs team, until I see somebody stop them, I, I'm just going to keep rolling with them every week. They are 7-0 against the spread, like we said. Uh, the Broncos had a big win last week, 45-10. to I understand the confidence can make you play a little bit better. I think as soon as they get hit in the mouth this week, they're going to be in trouble. Chad Kelly just got arrested. God, they, they ain't got no. their back up anymore because uh, I, I don't see any way that he ends up playing this weekend. No, they haven't played him yet. They're not going to start no. now. And, and Case Keenum is uh, – not great. Not great. And I don't see this Chiefs team giving up two pick sixes the way that uh, that the Cardinals did the other night. Whew. Yeah, I know it's a big line, but I like the Chiefs minus 10 here. My last game on pick, Aaron Rodgers has never been this big of a dog. He is laying nine points, catching nine points against the Rams. You know what? It ain't enough. It ain't enough. <laughs> this L.A. team is great. This Packers team is mediocre. Without Aaron Rodgers, they would be putrid. Okay? Yeah. I'm betting the Rams at home against this Packers team. They're not going to show up. They're going to get dust rolled. Gurley is going to run all over them. Every possession, they're going to score. Every stinking one. Good gracious. I don't know, man. Hard to, hard to come back on somebody the way Aaron Rodgers does sometimes when the other team just never stops scoring. That's a that's a good point. That's a good point. Last game for me, the Seattle Seahawks at the Detroit Lions. I got the Lions minus two and a half. The Lions are five and one against the spread so far this year. They are playing good. This is an under radar or under the radar team. My boy Matt Patricia. He he's figuring that's this team my guy. out. It it took him a little while, but he's figuring them out. It's twelve p.m. on Fox, Ford Field in Detroit. Uh, this team is is looking a lot better, and Seattle plays awful away from home. Yep. Uh, I, I love I love the Lions here, especially the fact that I'm getting them at less than a field goal. Correct. Uh, 100%. Let's roll with the Lions. All right, let's do uh, let's do our recap real quick. Uh, Eagles minus 3.5 against the Jags for me. Uh, the Chiefs minus 10 at home against the Broncos. Lions minus 2.5 at home against the Seahawks. The Colts minus 1.5 at the Raiders. And the Saints plus 1 at the Vikings. I got the Dolphins plus 7.5. I got the Saints plus 1. I got the Colts. Minus, I'm taking the one and a half at Horseshoe because that's where I'm going to make this bet. <laughs> I'm taking the Bears minus seven, and I'm taking the Rams minus nine. Absolutely. That's going to wrap up our NFL Week 8 gambling picks. As always, we've given you what you need to know to go be a winner. Go put some action down at Tunica. Pick your favorite games. Put some lines down. Do that thing. You can find more information on their sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can get our picks, our previews. All of our YouTube videos, our podcasts, everything else over at winningcureseverything.com. I think that's going to do it. Put some money down. Put some money we, down. We frown on putting lines down. You, you got that right. You got that right. 